Hey guys. hey guys welcome back to our channel i know it's been a while since we connected with you guys we are the victorious valentines we're excited to be back with another video updating you guys on our lives and what took place over the last few months but before we get started make sure y'all click the subscribe button below so y'all can stay tuned about all the things that we got coming up and uh stay updated well, welcome guys so for those who don't know us dominique and marcus valentine we've been married for five years I now yes years. us <laughs> um just two years ago i was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 27. Um, i found the uh, lump in my breast and once it got checked out i was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer so i went through um, 12 rounds of chemotherapy along with a double mastectomy and uh, um, re breast reconstruction, as well as some major lifestyle changes and alternative healings along the way. So it's been about a year and a half since he's been done treatment and uh, it's been an incredible journey. So we are gonna be showing you guys a lot that happened over the last year and a half. Snip is here, Snip is there, but for now we have an amazing surprise and blessing that we wanna share with you guys um, firsthand from the moment that we found out. So here we go. When we take our first pregnancy test, <laughs> if it's positive, we're gonna be like, yay! But if it's not, no worries. You know, we know it takes the average of three to six months. So we're just gonna try again. What is that? <laughs> There's one or two? It looked like two. See the two lines. We're yeah. having a baby. Hey, yes, baby Valentine yes. is coming On soon. Me. Wait. We are so excited, guys. When we took the pregnancy test, <laughs> we like <laughs> first of all couldn't believe the results. We were like geeking and laughing the whole time because we were like, hold on, did we do this right? Is we reading this it right? Real? Like, it's what's like, going on? what I was Googling, what other reasons could it give you a, a false positive? Yo, this was the first time like, she ever read directions for anything. Like, she <laughs> usually just dive in. So the fact that she was in there reading directions, double checking, like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, for real? Nah, for real, yo, you He's like, you did it right. I was like, I think we still ended up doing a second one because we still ain't believe it. Yeah, it was just amazing, man. But the the feeling that that we got from it was just absolutely indescribable. Like no words can describe when you when you like, man, like this is this really happened. This is really happening. So, and that's just a little bit about what I was feeling inside of it. So. Yeah, and we this was planned. <laughs> it might Very have been, planned. Yeah, it was planned. Very planned. Um, you know, let's just say the five year anniversary was 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 what it was. <laughs> I'll be I'll be telling our business. <laughs> <laughs> Are we blushing? I ain't blushing. Calm down. She's pretty red. Cause I'm hot. <laughs> and i'm pregnant all right <laughs> anywho so yeah we planned this uh, you know it was something we've always wanted but due to having breast cancer they wanted us to wait a few years between two to five years before you know 
becoming pregnant due to having a recurrence and things like that. But we felt like, you know, things happen to people every day and nothing in life is guaranteed. And we didn't want to be living in fear, just waiting for something to happen. And we felt like, you know, I was healthy enough. We were in a good situation to be able to uh, bring our baby into the world. So we went for it and I can say we did not think that we were gonna get pregnant on the first try. No, we didn't. It was kind of like, no. all right, like, like <laughs> we was like getting into it, you know, yeah. like we were testing it out, seeing if it was gonna work. We didn't think it would happen the first time. So we did go see a fertility specialist before beginning chemo, um, but we decided that we weren't gonna move forward with it and kind of like just take a chance that, you know, my body would do what it's supposed to do, my mm -hmm. body will recover mm -hmm. and uh, I will be healthy and whole to be able to conceive. And although there's no guarantee, I think we had belief the whole time. We had belief in our, and we definitely had faith. And we also, biologically, we, cause we got tested, we did the test, we did the sperm count test, we did, we tested, got your, your eggs tested and things like that. and her ovaries and if I'm yeah, saying it and right the, so the, like it all from math from the doctor they believe yeah, that we had a pretty great that, chance yeah that we would still have a good chance afterwards and then on, on top of our faith and we like okay but that decision right there when we got out of that office in the car we promised each other that no matter what would happen like it's us and we'll find a way to share our love and be parents some way shape or form and, and that's what that's how we roll yeah, and that's how we went, and now we're here. <laughs> well, guys, Marcus wanted to share with everybody, like, from day one. I wanted like, like to scream it from he the wanted mountaintops. To tell people, I was like, no, <laughs> like, no, we got to make sure this is real. We got to make sure our baby is healthy yeah. and that, you know, we all set before we start to put it out there to, you know, the world. So we did have marcus had an amazing idea when it was time to share with our family and our close friends go ahead marcus so, so yeah we had a great idea because we were trying to figure out how can we tell everybody at one time we have family that live in the south we have family that lives up north and we have friends all over that would love to be a part and support and show love but it just so happened that um the making strides against breast cancer walk was coming up in about a week and we wasn't going to tell people to like we was 11, 12 weeks, but this was like at a 10th week mark. And I was like, oh, we got this nice. is the ninth week. I was like, this is the perfect opportunity. We're going to have everybody in one place making strides against breast cancer. Well, we're no, none of our family going to miss it. None of our going to miss it. We're going to put a team together. Everybody's going to be there. We're going to be celebrating you for being a survivor. We're going to be, it was just, everything was just a line. I was like, we got to do this. So we made shirts for everybody. We got everybody together. We put the message out, not just to our family, but our friends and everybody who showed up was gonna be a part of this magical moment for us to reveal um, Baby Valentine to the world. And it worked out so perfect. We got there and not only did our friends and our family show up, but we had the support from American Cancer Society in our local area. They just happened to be interviewing Dime that day. They had the cameraman following us, pictures. And it was just amazing, man, to be able to share that moment with our family and with our friends because yeah. It just gave hope and belief that, man, like good things are supposed to happen to us no matter what. And after the year and a half, two years that the world had, let alone what we went through, what we grew through, that like, wow, like the joy came and yeah. the joy is still coming. Like Dom always says, the joy always comes in the morning. And it came that morning for a lot of our family members who might've been going through things or might've been experiencing things and didn't see light at the end of the tunnel and because of that, it was just a representation of like, man, like God is amazing. God is real and, and God is faithful. So let's show y'all. Let's, let's show get it. <laughs>
All right, guys, that was amazing, right? <laughs> so like the, it, I know y'all felt that through that video, mm -hmm. like a bunch of laughing, a bunch of crying, a bunch of praising God and happy tears, guys. I lost it. I think everybody I did, it. and I wasn't. We knew we was having a baby, but it was it was when we seen the expressions of our families, oh, like and our friends. It was just like, dang, like this is real and. <laughs> Seeing how happy people were for us even bought us so much more joy. When my dad hugged me, I lost <laughs> it. I ain't never been hugged like that by my pops. For him to show that that energy, man, it was just amazing to, to have that that moment and to share that with him. It was powerful. <laughs> yeah, it was everything. Like it was it was beautiful. And when we took our shirts off, our shirt said Victoria's dime. Mm -hmm. And then when we took our shirts off, it said mommy and daddy. daddy. And then the blanket said baby Valentine mm -hmm. coming spring 2020. Mm -hmm. And people didn't know when we was taking our shirts off. Everybody was looking like, what, what is it? What, what the blanket said? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was just like so perfect. Yeah. Such, such an amazing experience. And mm. we didn't even get to the walk yet. Like mm. we people, we didn't want nobody to leave or whatever. So we were oh, just yeah. like, let's do this. Let's do it now. Let's take this group picture now. And everybody really thought we was like taking a group picture, which was even more amazing but guys we are so happy we are so grateful so blessed that you know we have this opportunity to bring a baby into this world and raise them mm. to be beautiful whole happy a powerful being guys that will change the world yes, as we that. believe <laughs> and we will keep you guys posted on our journey the next video we'll be posting is our agenda reveal are you Crazy. guys ready are you guys ready y'all ain't ready <laughs> y'all really not ready we're super excited to continue to share we just want to thank you guys for being on this journey with us always showing love always supporting um this is just as much of your journey as it is ours um, so stay tuned don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you can stay connected with all of the alerts and all of our updates that we're going to be doing um here on this platform so. yeah all right guys we love y'all until next time stay victorious